It's your girl, Billy Marie. Welcome back to my channel. If you're anything like me, I love to design on a budget and my room needed a much needed facelift. So I decided to hit up the dollar stores. I went to the Dollar Tree and Dollar General and I came up with some beautiful designs. If you wanna see what I did, just keep on watching. The first thing on my list was to tackle this dresser. I am so sick of seeing this brown color. I didn't want to paint it and I didn't want to spray paint it, so I decided to use the contact paper. I got this contact paper at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, of course, and I got about 10 of them, but I did not use all of them at all. So I removed the knobs and I measured out the contact paper and I placed it as best as I could. It was actually harder than I thought, but I ended up getting it done and I was really happy with the results. It ended up becoming a focal point in my bedroom. Using this contact paper, I found that using a credit card or some kind of card helped to try to keep everything nice and smooth so you didn't have as many air bubbles. So that's a tip for you. When measuring your contact paper, make sure you go a little bit over the size that you need so that you can fold the contact paper over for a more clean look. You don't wanna stop directly on the edges. You wanna fold it over the edges. Now all that's left to do is to find the hole, push a screwdriver through there, and put the knob back on. Y'all, this dresser came out so beautiful. I was really not expecting this. It really brightens up my room and it is a great focal piece and I just really wasn't expecting this. I love it, love it, love it. The next thing I wanted to do was hang some shears over my bed. So I grabbed some cardboard and I rolled it up so that I can create a shape that could hold the shears. I got this idea from a fellow YouTuber. I cannot pronounce her name, but I'm going to post her name so that you guys can um, check out her page because she has some great ideas. And so I took some um, a leftover foam board from a past project and I'm gonna cover it with contact paper to kind of match with the dresser that I did because that's kind of like the theme now in my room. <laughs> and I'm just gonna cover it. Nothing really, I'm not really being real detailed. I'm just covering it. As you can see, I didn't really make sure it was nice and smooth, but it's okay. I got some shears from Dollar General. They were $5. I used hot glue to attach the shears to the piece. And I, I got it up on the wall with the staple gun. The picture in the center right there, I also got that from Dollar General for eight bucks. I love this. Recently, I've really become a makeup girl and a makeup girl has to have a vanity, right? So what better way to make a vanity than with Dollar Tree organizers? This vanity was so fun to make. I finally accumulated enough makeup to do it, and I love the results. I'm still going to add some things to it, but I love it how it's coming together so far. I purchased this desk from Target, but everything else on here I purchased at the Dollar Tree. All the glass vases, the flowers, the rocks, the candles, the candle holders, the organizers are all from the Dollar Tree. The books that I use in the background, all from the Dollar Tree. You can find great organizers there. As you can see, you can create some beautiful things without breaking your budget. 